So we talked earlier before about the importance of a pre-filter. Um, one of the things we did say is about making sure it's clean um, and if it does get dirty to change it. So Ian's going to show you how to actually do that right now. So all carbo air filters come with a pre-filter already attached. It's wrapped in clean film that basically stops any moisture getting into the carbon while it's stored in the stores and, and things like that. So basically what you do, you look at your pre-filter and as soon as it becomes really dirty and dusty, basically what it's doing is restricting air because it's full of dust and it's done its job. It's basically stopped the dust getting into the carbon. So it's a simple thing to, uh, to change it. All you need, a pair of scissors, cut the band off what comes with the filter. If you do this carefully as well, you don't damage the filter. Um, that allows you to wash it and then use it again later. So basically just take these off, lift it over the, uh, the hanging bracket, just literally pull it away. This will be full of dust so basically fold it up, put this in a washing machine, but not particularly expensive. If you want to replace them and throw this away it's not a problem, probably last you uh, three to four months and then just change it. So you can, they're washable but they're not expensive. So it, is, it is important to say it's got to be bone dry before you would put it back on again. Yeah, well. yeah, dry it out. Like you say, it will go in a dryer, but put it on a line, it'll, it'll dry out naturally. So basically, replace it. So all we're doing is putting it back on. So all you do again, put it over the top. Make sure you clear your hanging brackets. Pull it back down again. And what we also do we have these carbo air rubber bands. Basically, it looks fine, it'll probably work fine, but what happens, air is sucked before the pre-filter, so dust is allowed to escape past the pre-filter into the filter, again, damaging the carbon. So what we should just do, we use a carbon, uh, so we have a carbo air rubber bands, and just literally, hold it on that. Can I just, just pull it across, as high as you can go. And again, that creates a seal around the top of the, uh, the, the flange, stops any dust in there prematurely aging the carbon. Do exactly the same on the other side. Again, like this. That's how simple it is. That will run again for another cycle, another three to four months when it's finished get rid of it, change it, wash it, put a new one back on. It will prolong the filter life up to two years easily by making sure you change this pre-filter as regular as possible. And again, I we mentioned it in an earlier video, but if people think it's gonna be a pain to actually get your carbon filter down to do this, it really is important to do it. And again, we have quick connection kits that make this process a lot easier.